At some point in nearly any manufacturing process, you need the input chemicals to react with each other, to chemically change each other so that they can come out of that stage as perhaps the final product, or as a material one step closer to the final product. In a traditional process, the input chemicals are added along with a reagent. A reagent is an additional chemical that's there solely to help spark the reaction between the first two chemicals. It provides the extra push they need to meet and change each other. At the end of this process, the reaction creates the desired molecule, but it also creates collateral molecules, parts of the input and reagent chemicals that are left over, usually waste. Catalysis dramatically improves this scenario. In a catalytic reaction, the inputs are added along with a catalyst. The catalyst gets the reaction going, but remains itself unchanged. Because of this, we get one of the first benefits of using a catalyst instead of traditional reagents. Far fewer inputs are needed. Because the catalyst isn't changed in the process, it can be recycled to do the same job again and again. Second, the process usually creates much less waste because the catalyst isn't reacting to create those unwanted byproducts. Third, catalysts usually make reactions happen faster than reagents meaning a factory can make the desired product in less time. And finally, catalysts usually save energy, where traditional reactions often require heat or mechanical stirring to get them going. Most catalytic reactions can happen at lower temperatures and without the agitation. For all of these reasons, catalysis is central to green chemistry, and green chemists have used the technique to make the processes in several industries cleaner, more efficient, and more profitable.